Yo, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can edit as fast as possible on keyboard and mouse. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe with post notifications on, and watch to the end of the video as there's so many game changing tips that you do not want to miss out. That being said, really hope you enjoy this video and you take something out of it and it genuinely helps you. Alright guys, so the next tip that I have for you is making sure that you perfect your timing. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this, whether you're on single binds with confirm edit release or triple edit binds. The main thing that you do want to learn is your edit bind exactly and then selecting it. So basically just getting the perfect time down from pressing your edit bind first and then selecting it as fast as possible to release the edit. Again, make sure you guys are using confirm edit and release as this is going to maximize your speed, especially for spam tile edits and making builds flow. So when it comes to editing, what I personally do is I click down on G and then I click my mouse button down and then let go. So you have to do it in that specific order. You want to slowly start learning this function and you want to keep doing it until you build up the pace. And slowly you're going to have to spam edit this and do it extremely fast. It will take a bit of time to get the timing perfect down. You just copy what I'm doing here by just pressing G and then clicking or clicking whatever your edit bind is and then clicking down. For these triple edit binds, the same thing applies, you just have to press multiple buttons but again it will probably allow you to edit it faster. So yeah, that's basically how to get the timing perfectly down. It will take a bit of time but it's definitely worth doing. Okay, as for binds, there's a lot of things going around, a lot of different methods to be able to spam edit faster. Personally, I'm just sticking with the confirm edit and release single edit bind because it is possible to do. But some people do find it quite hard. So one thing a lot of people are using is instead of using their mouse button to select the edit, they're actually using a keyboard button or a key. So in my example here, I'm just going to be using G to edit and then I'm going to use H to select. So what you can do is press down on G and then press down on H over the tile that you want to edit. And that's going to select the edit. And when you let go of that key, it's actually going to release it because of confirm it on release. And there you've completed an edit. So if you keep doing this back and forth and over and over again, you're going to be editing extremely fast by not even having to touch your mouse. You can also do this without having to unbind your mouse click, as I'll show you here how to do it in your settings. Just want to go ahead and go into the edit button, make sure that's on G, and then make your secondary select button to any of the other ones. So you really can do these with any binds on your keyboard and mouse. Just make sure that you also have your regular bind set, so when you're moving or doing edits while it's building, it will still be smooth and it'll still be good. So yeah, that's basically what this looks like. Firstly, you want to start off by doing it quite slowly again, just like with the previous step, and then slowly get the timing down and perfect it to the point where you can spam edit and make builds flow, or just do it really fast, so yeah. Alright, so the next tip that I'm going to be going through is actually getting the perfect crosshair placement before actually editing the build and during editing the build. So when you're editing before, you want to make sure that you're looking around the section of the edit you're going to do. So for example, I just want to edit a open space in the wall with the four tiles. So what I would do is make sure that I'm looking in that specific area instead of looking around maybe the top right section or off of that section. Because as soon as you select that edit, your crosshair is going to be in the perfect place to do the best crosshair placement edit with the least distance traveled. And that brings me on to the next point, which is your crosshair placement during the edit. So again, you wanna minimize the amount that you move your mouse in order to release the edit as fast as possible. So this would mean that you're editing around the center of these four tiles, as it means that you won't be traveling that much distance. However, a bad version of crosshair placement for this would be editing around the squares, which means that your mouse overall has to travel further and therefore the edit takes longer to complete. This may seem like a minor difference, however, if you're doing edits consistently and very fast, it will make a huge difference and again, it would basically allow you to become more consistent and much faster. So one issue I see with people using scroll reset is that they're using their index finger to reset. I personally recommend using the middle finger to reset your edits as it's much more optimal and your middle finger can just rest there and reset it whenever you like. Whereas if you're using your index finger, you'd have to take it off of the left mouse click button and then put it on top of the middle uh, scroll reset, which takes a lot longer and overall could lead to misclicks or making errors. So yeah, I definitely recommend that you switch to using your middle finger to reset your edits. Now the final thing is trying to get better internet. This is a very unfortunate factor that determines how fast you can edit. Therefore, I do recommend you watch one of my videos. I've made two guides on how to get better internet and they both help out a lot. They will both be linked in the description. So if you do want to check them out, they're really going to help you. And overall, it is going to improve your edit speed and also your input delay. Also, my Discord link in the description, there will be timer resolution, 
which will help lower your response time to your PC or lower the input delay of your PC, which means that you're going to be able to edit faster because it's going to be less delay. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and it did help you. If you guys do have any sort of questions whatsoever, make sure to drop them in the comments because I will be answering every single one of them. With that being said, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for the support recently and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.